uh, the last uh, data structure uh, data structure that we're gonna discuss in this course I believe so yeah uh, are data frames data frames are objects that are has, uh, that uh, have some features of matrices and lists yes so let's create one data frame and then you will see what uh, what are properties of those data frames yeah so in data frames just like in matrices we have columns and rows yeah and using names we can provide uh, we can provide uh, Names from, uh, from 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 col for, for columns, yeah. And here, so here we create the first column will consist of ten elements. This is numerical, uh, ten numerical elements, yeah. And now let's uh, in data frames, in contrast to matrices, we're able to uh, use for each column we are able to use different uh, different classes, yeah. So. For instance, if we want to create this, that that column Y is a column of characters, let's create some artificial column of characters. This generate five A's, and let's generate five A's and five B's, and combine those we've seen. Yeah. Then we will, we will get something like this, which is quite important, of the length 10, just like our first column. Yeah. And let's do it. And let's do it something similar, but let's uh, create true, false, and repeat this five times. Yeah, and length of this is also ten. Yes, yeah, so here. Oops. Just like with lists, we can call to uh, we can refer to certain objects by its names. Yeah. Okay. What? Uh, but at the same time, at the same time, what is important and what is different from lists is that. As I said, each column must have the same number of elements. While in the list is super flexible, and we can put whatever whatever we want. If we want to, if we want to create that the first column has eleven elements and remaining two columns uh, have only ten elements we should get error message yep yeah. error message exactly with this reason uh, provided yes yeah, so so data frames are are uh, some uh, something between uh, as i said something between the matrices and uh, lists in the uh, and, uh, and in uh, i would like to uh, stress out this once again in matrices all elements of, of matrices must be of the same type yes so so it's not possible that the first second and the third column are of different type types different classes yeah so this is how it works 
Uh, now we will learn how to load data from external files. Yeah, and uh, in this example, we will use comma separated uh, files, CSV files. And uh, in the past, in the past, uh, that was uh, the standard uh, file formats for uh, spreadsheets. Yeah, but uh, Excel at some point. They introduce uh, files which are XLS, yeah, and uh, and all of those that I uh, I show to you can be also done on files from Excel that are saved as C uh, CSV. Yeah, so so just uh, so so just uh, for your information, yeah, and we will use command red CSV and here. The structure of this is that uh, here we provide the, the path to our file and it can be stored locally by using commands that I, uh, I presented at the very beginning, setwd. Uh, we can set, uh, set our working directory to the place where our CSV file is and then just to provide here the name of the file, but also we can use uh, uh, reference to links uh, to files uh, 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 stored uh, in the internet. Yeah, and uh, in this uh, in this simple exercise, uh, we will do uh, the latter. Yeah, we're gonna need uh, the link to our file. Yeah, and this link uh, you can find you can find over here. Yeah. And uh, this this file here is what was the link? Uh, the, yeah, this uh, this uh, this link that I provided to you uh, uh, redirects you to just GitHub of the author of the textbook that that we are using and to load this file you have to press here row yeah we need this row version and as you see the structure yeah the structure of this uh, this file is that it is comma separated yeah that that the, there are three columns face suit and value each column each column is separated by commas and, uh, and, and uh, mm, character verbals uh, are surrounded by quotes, numerical verbal are not surrounded by, uh, by quotes and notice that here we have so-called the very uh, the, the first line is, is a header and uh, it, it is the header and uh, it provides the names for our columns, yeah. So now we have to copy this this uh, this link, and here we use read CSV file equal to this link, and also. It's recommended to provide the structure of uh, the structure of this file. Yes, so we explicitly write that separation separator in this file in this file is comma. In some files, uh, it can be dot. Yet yeah, it doesn't make much sense because comma separated file should be separated by commas. Yeah, but some people use uh, dots. Yeah. Also, in our example, there are, there are no uh, uh, all numbers are integer numbers, so we don't uh, need uh, a sign for, uh, for, for 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 decimal part. But but if we but uh, if we had, we uh, we could provide this by this. Yeah. The last option that uh, we should provide is 
whether there is uh, the header is defined. The header is, a, is information that the very first line should be considered as information about uh, names of uh, our columns. Yeah? So we use this file, uh, the, this command, and the result of, of, of this command should be assigned to our object. Yeah. And now we have data frame, which has three columns, and those names are the same as the first line uh, of uh, of uh, the file. This uh, th th those uh, those objects become larger and larger, and for and uh, for this reason, from time to time, it's convenient to use uh, command D, uh, head, which provides only the first uh, lines of our, of of our object. If we are interested in last uh, in, in the last lines, we use tail. Yeah. So so now we have our data frame. Loaded from the internet, yeah, and uh, yeah. Now we will talk how to refer to some elements of our uh, data frame, yeah, and uh, so for instance, yeah, that this is our data frame, yeah, it has 52 rows and three columns, yeah. By the way, if we want to check the um, dimension of uh, data frame or matrix, we can use command dim we talk about this uh, this this we, we talk about this uh, we talked about this uh, command uh, uh, when I introduce uh, matrices but also it works with data frames yeah uh, just fine yeah so we have uh, 52 observations and uh, three columns yeah and now suppose that we want to refer to the element from the first row and first column, yeah. So in the matrix, uh, in, 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 we will use the same, uh, the same, uh, the same uh, similar uh, method to uh, calling uh, elements of uh, vector, yeah. And we will use square brackets, yeah. And if we want to have the first row uh, element from the first row and the fair uh, and the first column, we call it. 1 comma 1 yeah and we have king yeah so this is row this is column if we want to get the second column we type 1 2 yeah Alter, uh, in very uh, uh, analogous way if we are interested in in the tenth uh, in the tenth uh, element in the tenth row uh, of the second column, it, it should, we know here that uh, it should be spades here, yeah, but uh, we can uh, do it by ten two. Yeah. Suppose that we want to refer to several elements from our data frame. Yeah, and let's say that we want to uh, extract second and third column from row number two. Yeah, and in the very beginning we may want to. Yeah, so we are interested in second column, and now, and this is. The, fir uh, the first dimension that we refer rows, yeah. And if we want to, to 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 choose more than one columns, instead of writing two and three, we write this way, yeah. Ah, mm, df, yeah. And now it works, yeah. Uh, in an analogous way, yeah, if we want to 
extract columns, the uh, rows, row number six, and let's say ten. Right, six and ten, and we are interested in columns uh, number two and three. Then, yeah, we will get the six and ten row and uh, column number two and three. Yeah, and uh, yeah, if uh, instead here we can provide and the numerical vectors, yeah, so in particular if we want to see the first 10 observations, we can use sequential vector, yeah, and, and if we want to see column 1 and 3, this is it, yeah, 10 rows, and the, that was the first column in the, in the, the primitive uh, data frame, and uh, the value was the third column. In addition to this, R provides uh, a sort of short form uh, notation to make our life easier. Yes, so now, uh, now if we are interested in all columns of uh, row, uh, row number five, we could write this this way. But if we want to extract all elements in this dimension, we can leave, uh, leave uh, this dimension blank. Yeah, and both things are exactly equivalent to each other. Yeah. So if we want to 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 see all observation or first first five observations and all columns uh, for, for the first five observations, we should type df15. On the other hand, if we want to have all elements except the very first, uh, the very first row, we can use minus one. So minus uh, indicates that we, don't wa we, we want to have all, of, uh, all elements except this that I uh, list, yeah. So, so once again, the first element here is king spades uh, thirteen, and if I type df with minus one, and with I want to ext uh, extract all columns, then the first element is not king anymore; it's queen, yeah, and uh, yeah, and it's an uh, yeah. Okay, and uh, if we want to get rid of more than uh, several elements, then we use uh, in the analogous way, we use minus one, three, five, for instance. Yeah, and then we skipped row one, row three, and row five. Yeah. So I, uh, we we had uh, 52 observations. We eliminated three observations. Yes, so dimension of this should be, I guess, 49 times three. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. So this is it. Uh, that being said, we have to be careful when we use uh, uh, minus sign. Uh, because we have to be uh, clear what we want from R. Yeah? For instance, now if we want to if we want to um, extract all element all elements except those elements from three to fifty two. So in general, I could extract this by this. But if I want to use minus sign, you could think that that would be the correct way to do it. And it shouldn't work. Why? Because for R, 
it's not minus from 3 to 52 it's or it's in the it's, it's a vector of from minus 3 to 52 yeah and indices cannot be non uh, uh, non positive like zero or, or, or negative just like here yeah in Python we start with zero in, in, in R we start with one yeah so so to we will get error message yeah but and to make it correct it's enough just to put standard brackets just to show what we really want so we want to have all observations except those observations from 3 to 52. Uh, the last thing that I would like to say in this uh, part of, of our course is that uh, this notation also works with matrices and vectors. Yeah, so, for example, if we have vector those four elements and we want to have the second and the fourth element we type this yeah and we get this on the other hand if we want to have all observations except the first so then the, uh, the very first we type this if we want to have the fourth element, the very last one, we can use command length x and this. With minus length, we with minus length, we get all elements except the very last one. Yeah. So I think that this is it for this part of video at least.